welcome back to Forza Horizon 5, where yesterday we built this, our Audi RS7R. And it makes really, really cool pop, pop, pop noises. In that Audi RS7 video, I promised you that today we would jump into FH5 and unlock the Audi RS e-tron. I have a love-hate relationship with this car, and I will tell you why. Before we get into that, I need to get one point in the festival playlist this month. Bear with me as I go and attempt a, uh, speed trap. 250, please. Got it! The Audi RS e-tron is added to our garage just like that. There we go. Audi RS e-tron, 640 horsepower, 610 foot-pounds of torque. If you thought the Audi RS7 was a heavy boat, the HMS Quattro, joke's on you, the e-tron is 600 pounds heavier. Let's give this thing a go, bone stock, and then we'll come back and do some customization. As per usual, this wouldn't be an AR12 video without any fun facts about the Audi RS e-tron. I actually got to see the first ever concept of this thing. I was out at a Formula E race and I actually saw this really cool Audi e-tron. It was like bright red with a massive rear wing. Long story short, Audi, bring it back, please. Ever since this thing has come out, Audi has been trying to advertise it and make it seem, uh, how do I beat around the bush? more special than it actually is. And that's why in 2019, they called up Disney and wanted to do some advertising with the Avengers. During the filming of Endgame in 2018 and 2019, the e-tron wasn't actually a thing. In Endgame, they actually used an all black Audi e-tron that looked exactly like this. Audi actually had to build one of these things before they were ready it was basically a rolling shell of a car, but it did actually work. If you see the e-tron in Endgame, just know that is the first e-tron ever made. I don't actually know if it still exists, but it's out there somewhere. Here's my problem with the Audi RS e-tron. If you compare this thing to like a Tesla Model S, which costs about the same, or even the Mercedes EQS, both of those vehicles will absolutely destroy these things in terms of rain. The Tesla, that can do like 600 kilometers on a full charge. The EQS, that can do like 550. The Audi e-tron, uh, it, it can do 375. I have no idea how the range on this thing in real life is so bad. I don't know why someone would buy one of these things in real life when you have other options that are just better. I am literally Audi's number one sim, and I would tell you to not buy this car. Even Nick can last longer than the battery on this thing. <laughs> that is not where I thought you were going with that. <laughs> FH5 customization for the Audi e-tron. Twitch chat actually wants me to rally race it right out of the game. Golden said he had a tune for this thing. Maybe I'll download that. But anyways, before I do that, let's see what upgrades we've got. So motor and battery, we can take the horsepower from 640 and oh my God, 962 horsepower with the fully upgraded battery. That is sick. We can toss on a massive front splitter. If we are gonna end up racing this thing, we're probably gonna gonna want this big front splitter even though it really doesn't look very good tire size on this thing 245 we can go all the way up to 295 285 in the rear to 315 okay we need to take this to a drag strip too we've also got some engine spacers to make our wheels look a little bit cooler very nice then we can go race suspension that actually looks way way better and drift suspension we are definitely gonna be building a hoonie tron the most important thing though is gonna be weight reduction we're 5,000 pounds over a thousand pounds of weight reduction. Like I said, I'm not going to mess around with any of those upgrades. I just want to try Golden's WRC e-tron meme tune. It's on rally suspension, off-road tires, has all-wheel drive. Chat, we might have a really, really, really big problem. It doesn't say Quattro anywhere on my car. The e-turd, the boat. Twitch chat really doesn't like this car. Come on, e-tron. We are going to need to send it through all of the corners. Maximum send. Warp. This is definitely attempt number one, obviously. That was a bit sketchy. That's a bit sketchy. That's a bit... A 
HMS skill issue. Attempt number one. Obviously. I'm winning. Yes. All right. No skill issue that time. I literally went from, I don't even know what place I started in, all the way to first in uh, 20 seconds. I know the e-tron might not be that popular, but my God, is it fast right out of the gate. Okay. I do not like the gear ratios on this thing. I can tell you that instantly. I feel like I'm going too fast fast for first gear, but too slow for second gear. On a serious note, though, this thing has a ridiculous amount of grit. What does an Audi e-tron owner and a person who has diarrhea have in common? They both hope they make it home. It's a good thing this race isn't any longer because I probably wouldn't have made it to the finish line especially driving it flat out. That's another point that I didn't even mention. I hate the front styling. It feels like it's so plasticky. The difference between the Audi RS7 and this thing is just massive. Like, they're similar price. They've got similar horsepower, very similar specs, but for some reason, the e-tron just feels cheap. I might be complaining about this thing literally non-stop, but it did just get me a P1 by literal mile. I think it's time for a little bit of a quarter mile drag strip. Nearly a thousand horsepower in this thing. I've got my drag tires, I've got my upgraded battery, I've got wider tires and everything. Actually, I'm gonna go so try hard, I'm gonna go for some lightweight rims again. 70 pounds. How are the wheels 70 pounds? No wonder this this thing drives like a boat. The wheels weigh a ton. The brakes are going to be a lot lighter too. Look, the brakes are a hundred pounds lighter. 3,800 pounds. We're middle of S1 class with our quarter mile draggy boy. I love these Audis and this one is, it's pretty cool. Like when you see one, they are pretty cool, but it's just, it's not a good enough car. That's the problem and it sucks. Whoa, that's fast. 8.5 seconds. I think I can make that even faster. I could probably get like an 8.3. Uh, if you can just get like an 8.4, I think I would be happy with that. It's just the amount of grip off the line is insane. It's like, I don't know. I. It's a very hard car to describe. Did I literally just get the same time? An 8.5 second quarter mile is insanely fast. Like, scary fast type of thing but it just i don't know it just it it doesn't it doesn't do it it doesn't do it for i got moving on i'm done with drag racing i'm going to race if i want to actually race this thing i'm gonna go front splitter big rear wing and i guess maximum grip oh we could actually get this thing top of s1 yeah 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 maybe i try to get this thing top of s1 nailed it we do actually have advanced painting options for this thing so that is group number one Group number two is... Oh, no way. It's the roof and the B pill and the... Wait. What? I'm sure. Okay, I'm going to make that carbon fiber. That's not bad. Okay. How about wing mirrors? Maybe carbon fiber wing mirrors. I don't hate it. Imagine how much cooler this car would be if it were a Gumper Apollo. I am praying to the Audi gods. Do and corner, please. If it can survive just one corner, I will count that as a, as a success. I did it. I did it. I did it. I didn't die. I didn't die. Turn. I got close to the wall, but I didn't hit it. It is literally so sketchy driving this car. It does actually look really cool with this paint job and the big rear wing, strangely enough. But part of me is still just like... Eh. Those tires are keeping me stuck to the road really nicely. I don't know what it is about this e-tron, but the grip that it has, regardless of whether it's racing on the road or doing dirt racing, it's actually nice. And here we witness another problem of electric cars. Top speed. Oh. And, and once again, cornering. Gain, 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 gain. I'm not, um... Electric cars! Ah! The e-tron hoonitron! For those of you who don't know, Ken Block recently signed with Audi, and he made the hoonitron. It's basically an e-tron, I think, with more power and a completely different body because even Audi was like, yeah, that's not really cool. I'm gonna try my best to drift it. All electric cars are actually pretty good at drifting, so I guess we'll see. I can't even make it rear-wheel drive, so I guess we're gonna be doing 
the same as the RS7 drag tires. I'm not gonna make my tires very thick. Wait, isn't Ken Block with Rotiform now? I don't know. I'm putting a 1552. So we're basically a thousand horsepower, sub 4,000 pounds. I think this might actually have some potential. I definitely need a bigger zone. What about this? Okay. 227,000 points is my personal best. I will not get anywhere near that. I can instantly tell you this thing is grippy. That is not good. Oh my god, it's so grippy. It's so grippy. This is kind of working though. It's definitely not a great drift car by any means. And 200,000 points on my first attempt. Yo, that's actually not very bad. I think if I can figure out the gear ratio situation on this car, I might actually be okay. I should be able to stay in first gear now for all of this, which... I mean, that in itself is gonna feel super weird for drifting. Then power it through, power it through, power it through. I like this. I like this. I like this. This is a sick drift car. Then not too wide. Not too wide. No going wide here. Slow. Slow. Kept it on the road. Kept it on the road. I lost a little bit of points, but I'm still okay. And keep it going here. And again, slower than you think you need to go. Keep it on the road. Run it out wide. There's 220. Oh, I lost points again. 230. 240. 242. 120. 130. 140. 155 miles an hour backwards. Are you kidding me? And then... Oh, that wasn't the entrance. Ah! Okay, here we go. through the guardrail. I really wanted to take the take the right hander.